Hey guys, Happy New Year! It's finally 2016 and um, I'd like to apologise for not uploading any videos, it's just been really busy lately. So um, hopefully for 2016 I'll have a load of videos coming at ya. So start, So this software review is going to be about Yak, yet another cleaner, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, so starting off with the pros, the best thing about this is it's free. So that's the best thing, and then it's that you can upgrade to Yak Premium. So I don't really need to upgrade because Yak has everything I need for it in the free version. But if you go onto anti malware and go onto license information and um, think scan type, um, you can have a threat scan that's free, but then you can have a. Um, you, yeah, here's. Here's the um, thing that shows, so you get real time protection, that's um, a new new feature, and then you get malicious website protection, and automatic automatic updates, and fast hyper scan, so it's like a normal scan but really fast, so like, if you had like a 2 terabyte PC, um, I'm just guessing here, um, um, you, you'll have it in like, 10 minutes or so, you'll get it scanned, something at that speed from what I've heard, and then scheduled task, tasks. Although I do have scheduled tasks um, on the free version, so I don't know what's so special about the page one, but I don't think it's that much. So I think it's like 20 pounds, or um, if you're in America, I don't, I don't even know. So it's about twenty pounds if you want to update it. I haven't got the, I haven't got the um, actual um, thing. I haven't got. I don't know the actual price list because I never thought of buying it because I have everything I need here. So the next thing um, you have um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven features that you have. Seven main features, and it's. Um, you can have an uninstaller as well and this uninstalls it it uninstalls your software but um, like in a more optimized way and, like it shows you on this chart um, like if you have something that's like dangerous and um, it uninstalls it for you if you um, like get that like checked up and this is one of the biggest problems I've had with this so um yeah so one of those problems that you just saw was a blank screen so that does happen a bit so um it, if you like don't touch the pc while it's doing that you can it will just go away but sometimes if you're like in a rush you might click it and yeah so for the uninstaller i'll show you uh so even just looking at this, I have like, I'm like shocked as at how many things I have installed. So I have a whole ton of softwares. So I sh I'm not deleting Minecraft, no way. So um, this percentage thing is the uninstall rate. So I think that's about like how much you should like the recommendation if you should up, de, up, um, uninstall it so um, normally it's 50% if it's under 50% you're safe if it's over 50% not so good but that's normally how it goes but I don't know about this so I've had easy vid but I don't really need it so I'm just gonna uninstall it yeah I really want to completely so it gets this uninstaller the one that you got with your um, when you installed it, so um, whatever, yeah, this tool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, um, I just don't, yeah, I know what I'm deleting here, but um, yeah, um, it's like normally when you install it, sometimes it leaves like stuff behind, like um, ads and malware sometimes, and so we just deleted that easily. I 
um, I have to say I need straw instead of um, I don't know where this came from, but I think that's important. I don't know. So, I... Yeah. I better not mess about with any of this stuff, because I think I need most of this. Oh, I don't need this, so... So, let's see if this has any um, malware or anything. But I don't think because it's by Microsoft. Normally, if you've seen my... Um, if you've seen my How to Change an XCSC file, an mp4 or whatever you want, um, you would know what um, Microsoft Expression Encoder is, and I don't really need it because I'm using Camtasia as you can see here, and um, yeah, that's just going to waste time, so um, for the speed up, it just optimizes and um, makes the computer faster, so I have just optimize my PC here, and clean up, it just cleans you, um, just check for dump, junk, junk files and stuff stuff that's been dumped on your PC while from websites and things like that. And f forgive me, but I can't talk today. I have no idea why, but I can't talk. And um, anti malware, malicious software, short for malware. Um, as as we went here before, um, um basically. All like most of the information you have in that onto malware for some reason, but I think that should have had it. But I think they should have put it in settings. And um, by the way, on settings, you can have um, a whole load of languages, but I have English selected. And you have this thing called a Yak Booster. And um, let me just get this here. So um, basically what this does is when you click on the percentage, um, you have what all this stuff and um, I don't need this. So it just like closes programs. Normally if you close a program it's still in the background for some things. So this like takes it away completely. So I don't really want to mess with that anymore. So I'll just get that on the side. And this this is really handy. You can also have it for um, internet. Oh. Let me just move it in. So you can have it for um, to improve your internet speed and things like that. So and boots on Harper and you have all this stuff and I'm not gonna like um, take um, show you everything because I want you guys to find out for yourself because I don't want to be a spoiled for it. And you have a toolbox here and basically you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot. So um, you can connect your phone to your computer with, uh, you can like tether your computer to your phone if that makes sense. Then you have a desktop tool, so like you can put all your software and whatever, you know. You can put all your stuff that you use all the time like um, Internet Explorer or, I don't know why anyone would use it, but Internet Explorer or Firefox or stuff like that you would what you would use or uh, yeah and um, yak booster you've just seen and quick clean it just like cleans the softwares just as I was saying um, I just had to go somewhere for a second so it cleans files really um, really quickly so that's just a bit of a basic thing and then we have a large file scan so it scans for those large files so like I had a shock I had like 50 large files that were like um, one gigabyte. Well, not all, not all of them, not all of them, but like three were like 50 gigs. And I found out that was really full because I made a video and I didn't um, was a mini games one when I used fraps to record, and um, it was a nightmare because the file was that big. So um, and Yak helped me to. Um, free all those files and it deletes them like permanently so yeah and then we have the ad block and it's blocked a whole lot of ads and this this is a small number because I have I have an ad block um, add-on on my um, on my Firefox so even with that from what the um, add-on didn't detect this takes them out as well and I think yeah takes out the YouTube ones as well so if you have a YouTube um, video ad 
um, you stop it from showing up. So that's really helpful. And you have the tool that can you can sh it shows on your um, web browser, and that's just about it. So there aren't that much um, cons except that black screen thing. And then the other cons that are, are around are like when you close it, um, it doesn't, it isn't the best. And when you close it, like it has an animation, um, like it shrinks, but the animation isn't built in correctly. And basically, it has like tiny bugs, and like so, it needs a lot of debugging. But and except that, this is a this is a really good um, cleaner for your PC. So um, that's it for this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.